2019 general elections may have come and gone, but representatives of 75 political parties are gathered in this hall to review the elections. The, University of the chairman of the event speaks on the essence of the roundtable. It's a good thing that these key stakeholders are reflecting on what they did or what they failed to do during that uh, electoral process. That we as scholars pay specific attention to what's going on. The acting executive director of the Center for Transparency Advocacy and the chairman of the Inter-Party Advisory Council share their thoughts on the general elections. I remind us at this juncture that INEC as the umpire of the general elections proved quite independent in the way and manner it responded to the unexpected challenges thrown its way by stakeholders in the process and other unforeseen circumstances during the last general election. Correction decisions taken by his leadership during the conduct of the election in Baochi, Rivers, Oyo, Adama, and to mention just a few, manifestly shown the intention of the commission to lead by to, by him to do the right thing, despite the daunting challenges. We need to see Africa transform. The special guest of honor and immediate vice president of Sierra Leone advocates the need for politicians to avoid becoming dictators. In Nigeria today, I see diversity and the numerous diversity in culture. We all agree and come together as a country. But also, I appeal to all of us here today. Let us also have that, as we have that diversity in political platforms, we agree to come together to build one Nigeria, a country that Africa is proud of. At the end of the round table, the chairman of the organizing committee presents the communique. The round table condemned the unpatriotic and desperate ambition of certain politicians. The round table commended INEC for maintaining an open, transparent communication of our plans and programs and her involvement of other stakeholders in expressing the stages of implementation of the 2019 electoral design. This round table is aimed at ensuring a more credible electoral process come 2023.